Not long ago, Tesla's massive battery that saved the South Australian grid from going dark was the biggest battery in the world. That was only a few years ago. Well, now it's not even close. Now, when we talk about big batteries, we're talking about hundreds of gigawatt hours. And the UK has just installed its biggest battery in history. This is actually quite an historic event. So is the fact that the United Kingdom is decarbonizing at an incredible pace. I mean, they're moving towards solar, wind, especially wind, massive amounts of wind being built offshore and batteries at the fastest pace in the history of the country. Coal power plants are shutting down as a result because they're simply not economically viable. And whilst all this is happening, experts at Oxford University, I'm talking a group of 30 experts, got together and worked out that the world will save at least $10 trillion if we can move towards renewable energy by 2050. If we can do it by 2040, it will be $20 trillion. That's a lot of money. Finnish technology group Wartsila says it has built a first of its kind 400 megawatt hour battery energy storage system that will balance the output of enormous amounts of offshore wind and take the United Kingdom closer to its target of 100% renewable energy. The huge battery, one of the biggest proposed in the UK, is being built for Scottish based electric vehicle fleet and battery storage specialist Zenobi, which will operate the facility that is to be part of the National Grid's NOA Stability Pathfinder program. Watsila expects the project to be operational by the northern summer of 2024, and it claims the battery will be the first in the world to deliver stability services from a transmission connection. It may have already been beaten to it by the Victorian Big Battery in Victoria and the Walgrove battery in New South Wales. The Victorian big battery is actually from my home state in Victoria in Australia. It's a bit of an embarrassment. The name, Victorian big battery. They, they couldn't think of anything more creative than that, so they just called it a big battery. Anyhow, the point is here. It's actually massive. It's even bigger than this battery being built in the UK. It provides 450 megawatt hours of storage. And as of December, 2021, when it first came into operation, it was the biggest battery pack in the Southern Hemisphere. That battery was made by Tesla, but not using Tesla's new mega packs, which I think are a significant improvement over the previous battery packs that Tesla was installing. This is a massive step for the UK. This battery will manage supply and demand, power stability and constraints. It's gonna help provide power to millions of people in the UK. Its location in northeast Scotland means it can help integrate nearby offshore energy wind projects in the North Sea into the UK's energy grid. Watsila expects the project to be operational by the northern summer of 2024, so in about 12 months from now. Here's what they said. We're proud to deliver this pioneering energy storage project alongside Zenobi. This is a first of its kind project that will help balance the UK grid as it targets 100% Renewable energy generation, said Andy Tang, the vice president for energy storage and optimization at the company. Speaking of big batteries back in my home country of Australia, Watsila are also building a 250 megawatt one hour big battery at Torrens Island in South Australia on behalf of AGL. They say that the energy storage is playing a critical role in delivering a stable supply of electricity during the global transition to renewable energy. But the point is here, this is actually even more interesting because this battery in South Australia that they're also completing, this 250 megawatt battery, it will join the Tesla mega battery in South Australia. South Australia is the basically the world's only grid that's capable of running 100% on renewable energy. And in fact, it's actually done it for weeks at a time proving that the concept does work. A lot of the naysayers say there's all these different reasons for why 100% renewable energy cannot work, but they've all been proven wrong. A lot of the reason that that grid works though is because of the computer technology that Tesla has deployed with the big battery. Here's what they had to say. The battery at Black Hillock brings together the very latest in grid scale battery technology that will be crucial to lower consumer bills and enable more renewable energy into the grid. With Watsilla and other project partners, we look forward to delivering this significant grid infrastructure project that will be an important milestone in the UK's transition to net zero. 
I believe the UK will hit net zero by around 2032. And as they're saying here, it's going to bring prices of energy down, not up. A lot of people think renewable energy, it means prices go up. It's actually not true. Sometimes transitioning from one fuel energy source to another has that result. But in the long term, consumers will actually save a huge amount of money, not only in Australia, but also in the UK. And you'd think the UK, I mean, sun, they don't get any. I was there in summer. It didn't feel like summer to me, but doesn't really matter because one thing the UK has is massive offshore wind. Now, if you haven't seen my video about that wind, Dogger Bank, the largest wind farm in the world, is utterly mind-blowing. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Thank you for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.